All right, here's the deal. They don't want you to know this. But there's a review coming up. Come on, let's check it out. Come on. All right, family, coming to you from the car today. We're in the parking lot at work. I got a little time to kill. It's about 9.55 p.m. I'm a third shifter, if you haven't guessed that already. So uh, I go in about 10.30. It gives me a half hour to, you know, get pumped up and get out to the line. Um, so if you see my last video, you know that I acquired, or I should say not really acquired, I bought some uh, pipe tobacco online from pipesandcigars.com. Pretty good experience with them, pretty quick shipping. Uh, standard shipping rates, they don't charge you out, they ask for it. Um, and I picked up the CAO Flavorous, uh, or Flavors, I still can't pronounce that correctly. CAO Flavors uh, line, um, so there's four different tins. Tonight we're gonna be checking out Moon Trance. Moon Trance. I have had this in cigar form, it's very good. Um, I tried a petite Corona, so a little, uh, little, uh, four, like, I think it was like a four incher by like, a, I don't know, a four by 50, probably a four by 50. Um, anyway, it's really good flavor. Um, so it's supposed to be exotic fruit, bourbon, and vanilla. Um, I find that to be pretty on point as far as the cigar goes. Um, as far as the pipe tobacco, never tried it before. Hopefully it's the same. Um, I would assume so, but, you yeah, know, I don't know. Maybe it'll taste different without the wrapper and binder around it. Who knows? So, um, tonight we're going to be smoking out of my, uh, this is one of my Missouri corn cobs I bought from Cigar Ambassador here in Holland, Michigan. Pretty simple. Uh, this one's actually got a black tip on it. The other one I have is like that burnt orange kind of clear looking one. I do like the clear one. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the burnt orange color. I'm a big fan of that. My sunglasses are actually burnt orange lenses, so maybe it's something with the color. I'm going to take a minute to uh, talk about a little trick that a fella up at Indian River Tobacco told me. So for corn cobs, corn cob pipes, the real corn cobs, um, apparently it gives off like a corn flavor or you get like that corn wheat flavor uh, from the cob itself. Now this one looked like it was a little more finished than the other one that I had bought, but I figured just in case I'll take this step. He told me if you take a little bit of raw honey, stick it on your finger, in this case my pinky because it's my only finger that's small enough to fit in the damn bowl. Take a little bit of raw honey, throw it on your finger, spread it around on the inside of the bowl there, um, and then I like to do the rim as well. Um, that'll kind of protect it from the heat and it also creates like a, a barrier so you don't get the flavor from the corn cob in your tobacco. Now, if that's your cup of tea and you like your tobacco to be corny, you know, who am I to judge? But I don't want my tobacco to be corny. <laughs> so, uh, so that's what I do. Uh, I did that with my other corn cob. It seems to have worked pretty damn well, and I've done it with this one. This one's been uh, sitting with the honey on it now for, I don't know, probably a good three, four days, uh, and I haven't smoked anything out of it yet. Was kind of saving it till I got the uh, the new tobacco in, so I had a fresh pipe to try some out in. So, I know that was kind of long winded. Stay with me here, though. Um, I'm gonna try and do this video without cutting too many times. I bought a mount that goes on the window, so I don't have to hold my phone. I can use both my hands. And uh, yep, yeah, so that's where we're at. So uh, let's get this puppy packed up, and uh, we'll see what we got going on. So this tin, when I originally uh, opened it, I don't have my knife with me. I've I, I done lost my knife somewhere. But 
Um, I actually, I was sitting here trying to hulk it open and I couldn't get it. Uh, I've never actually bought a real tin of tobacco before. Everything I bought comes in a plastic bag or in a pouch. Um, so I actually had to stick my knife in between the, the lid in the container here and pry on it a little bit to break that initial seal. And then it just kind of spins open, which I guess that's a good thing. It's a little bit of a hard spin. So that, that, um, that reassures me that this is going to stay fresh as long as I make sure I get that lid on there. Correct. Mm, excuse me, family. I just finished one of these, uh, Starbucks double shot espressos. This is the, uh, Cubano, uh, Cuban coffee, a little bit of, uh, I believe it's cane sugar in there. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. A little pep up for the night. So right away when you open the tin, that aroma of the exotic fruit, slight little hint of vanilla, and like that bourbon kind of fermented smell is what you're getting just by opening the lid. Um, this was also kind of interesting. Like I said, I've never bought a tin before, but it's got this nice, uh, I'll call it a, like a sleeve or like a, I don't know what you would want to call that, that actually opens up. It kind of reminds me of like uh, when you make cupcakes or something, you know, the, the papers that go around the muffins. And then we got a little uh, piece of cardboard down in here. Yeah. So I don't know, this will probably give you a good idea on what it looks like. You can see there's a little bit of the dark Cavendish in there. Some lighter blend. A little bit of an oiliness on the bottom of that. Go ahead and brush that off into the in the container. Alright. So yeah, it smells phenomenal. Like this is, this smells better than what that cigar smelled like. So my, my hopes are very high for the taste on this. Yeah, that smells really good. Really good. Alright, so I'm going to try and pack this the best I can with that raw honey on there. It's got kind of a stickiness to it right now. Um, <laughs> I figured it might dry out eventually, but once I hit it with the flame, it should. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pack this. I actually, wow, this tin's actually packed very tightly. It's almost like a cake of tobacco. So I don't think I'm going to pack this completely full just because of the time I would like to go inside and chat it up with the fellas before going right to work so but it's almost full um, then usually what I do or what I have found works the best um, is I pack it a little looser than I like it and then once I light it up and uh, get that initial char on the tobacco I pack it down just a little bit tighter, and that usually seems to work pretty well for me. Keeps the burn nice and even, and uh, yeah. So, I'll close this up real quick. All right, we got that all closed up. I don't know if that's a thing with pipe smoking or not. Maybe that just comes from my uh, cigar smoking side. But uh, I like to do a cold draw with the tobacco in the bowl. You can taste that fruit. Uh, got to grab my lighter, family. Uh, you can taste the fruit. A little bit of that bourbon back on it. Just the slightest little hint of vanilla in the background. Let me adjust the camera a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, tastes pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and get her fired up and uh, see how it goes. So far, it's got good smoke output. Um, I 
guess you want to call it. It's supposed to be an aromatic, so it's right off the bat. You can, I can get that uh, tobacco smell, a little bit of the fruit in there. It's very smooth. Yeah, I gotta open a window. Uh oh. There we go. So. Man, for a minute I thought it went out, but it's just that smooth that didn't notice it was still going. So now, already, as I was just talking to you guys, I can already feel um, kind of like a nicotine rush, kind of, I guess is what you want to call it, right? It's kind of um, it's pepping me up a little bit, I guess is what I would say. That tells me that this tobacco might be one I'll have to enjoy in moderation. <laughs> That's okay. I got lots of different tobacco. So. Still can't get over that smooth draw. I have not found a tobacco yet that doesn't have at least just a little bit of a bite to it. This has like zero bite. It's kind of nice. And yes, I'm lighting it with a Bic lighter. I'm not going to sit here and use matches. And I'm not going to use a butane because I absolutely despise butane lighters. If you ever get the chance to try some of this, I definitely recommend it. Still got a little bit of that fruit kind of going on along the top of your mouth, bourbon towards the back. Um, the bourbon's starting to mellow out a little bit, and uh, I'm getting more of like the, not a big vanilla flavor, but a little hint of vanilla kind of on the tip of my tongue. Smoke's kind of light on it. Um, some of the, or I should say, a lot of the tobacco I've been smoking lately, the smoke is, uh, I don't know the word to describe it. I want to say heavy, but it's not like heavy. It's kind of like it's dense, you know, it's dense. Like when you push it out your nose for the retro hit, like you can feel it going through. Uh, this, not so much. It's pretty light. out on me again. That is good stuff. Anywho, so um so what I'll do, I have, uh, for those of you who have watched my uh, cigar reviews, I like to do a, a rating on it. Um, and I've decided I'm going to start doing the same thing with the pipe tobaccos. 
had to change up the scale a little bit to accommodate for uh, the different categories. I think I have one extra category for pipe tobacco than I did the cigars. Obviously, the categories are going to be different because pipe tobacco and cigar tobacco are two different things in themselves. But um, So what I'll do, I'm going to finish this up tonight. I will pack another one probably in the morning when I go to leave work. I'll smoke it on the way home. That way I kind of get a refresh of what I'm dealing with here. It'll also give me, uh, I mean, because you can't really rate a tobacco. Um, I guess you can. I do that with the cigars. I was going to say, you can't really rate a tobacco the first time you smoke it, right? Because sometimes it changes after being open, after you already smoked out of the pipe. It might taste different, blah, 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 blah. But whatever. Uh, down to the brass tacks here. I'm going to finish smoking this tonight, family. Um, I'll pack another one in the morning. Um, we'll head back to the house, and I'll give you my thoughts on it, uh, my final thoughts on it, along with my rating for it. And, uh, yeah, so that's the skinny, guys. Um, stay tuned, okay? Good morning, family. Eight hours is over. It's a pretty good day. Very productive day. Got a lot of work done. Now it's time to relax. So like I said, I'm going to pack me up another uh, bowl of this uh, Moon Trance from CAO. And um, i got to make one stop on the way home. I want to stop at the Red Box and uh, see if they got that new Star Wars flick in. Haven't watched it yet. Well, I guess I kind of did. I I, I uh, watched a little bit of it online, but it was skipping all over the place and shit wasn't working right. So we're gonna see if they got it at Red Box. And we're gonna go home and watch the. So anyway, I'm gonna pack another bowl of this uh, Moon Trance, and then we will hit the road. this time. It loosened up a little bit. That'd be outgoing air traffic. Works right next to an airport. So yeah, it's definitely packed a little too tight. All right, family. Let's go hit up the red box. Here we go. All right, family. We're home. They did not have the new Star Wars film. I'm slightly disappointed. But I got downsizing instead. I don't know. We'll see what that's all about. Um, smoke down the pipe. Um... Not as good of an experience as I had with it last night. Maybe because the tobacco is a little on the cold side. And it sat in the car overnight. It was closed, but like I said, I did have to break an airtight seal to get it open. So, maybe that first pack out of it was uh, better than the rest. I don't know. So, uh, not as good as it was last night, but it is still good. You still get the, uh, the hints of the fruit along with, uh, the vanilla bourbon. Um, a little more bite on it this morning than there was last night. I don't know, maybe I was smoking it a little fast this time. It only took me about 30 minutes to get home. Uh, so, I don't know, I probably smoked it on a little fast. But anyway, um... So, we're going to head inside. I'm going to grab the laptop and uh, I'll give you the numbers for the rating. Uh, I would give them to you now, except for the fact that uh, when I redid the rating scale to accommodate the pipe tobaccos, like I said, I changed up some of the categories and for the life of me, I can't remember what they are now. So, uh, we're going to run and grab that and I will come back with my numbers for you guys. Hold tight. Alright guys, so real quick. 
uh, numbers. Um, tin note, we're going to go with a five. Smells really good in the tin. Room note, I'm going to go with a three. It's about average. Flavor, we're going to go with a four. Um, it was pretty much on par, but I don't know. Could have a little bit more flavor, I guess. Bite, we're going to go with three. It's about average. I did get a little more bite towards the end. So, and then price wise, we're going to go ahead and give it a five because for that size 10, that's a pretty good deal. Brings us to a four out of five rating. Um, All right, family, sorry about that. Uh, folks up here in the house are sleeping, so I don't want to get too loud with it. But uh, yeah, so it's a four out of five overall rating. Um, CAO's Flavors Moon Trance. If you get the chance, try it out. I suggest getting it from pipesandcigars.com. 30 bucks with the shipping and handling included is pretty good for four tins, I believe. So, so yeah. Um, if you can do me a favor, either hit the uh, like or dislike, thumbs up or thumbs down at the bottom there. Let me know how you feel about this video. Feel free to leave comments. Um, hit the subscribe button. Uh, that'll get you access to all my new videos and whatnot. And then once you hit that, go ahead and click the notifications button, the little bell. And uh, that way you'll get notified every time I upload something new on here. All right, folks. Um, I'm going to make it a great day. Uh, you can hear the birds chirping. I know you can hear the traffic. But uh, you can hear the birds chirping. It's a little chilly out today, but uh, I think it's going to be a nice day. So uh, I'm going to head on in and get some breakfast, pop a movie in, and unwind a little bit. All right, guys. Take care.